Hello and welcome to another video. I know somebody is gonna comment, Ugh, why do you still have a Christmas tree up? It's like January. And the answer is, eh, I don't really know. But it makes for a beautiful backdrop and it makes me really happy. So it is gonna be there for the entirety of this video. Anyways, today I am going to be talking about how the magic happens, and by magic I mean how I take notes in lecture. So for my content heavy lectures that don't have too many diagrams, I like to either write my notes out by hand using my iPad, which I love, or I write them out on my MacBook by typing them. And this all depends on the pace of the lecture and the amount of content. So if I know there's no way I'm going to be able to write these out and be able to pay attention and actively listen, I tend to type them out. So the app that I use for that is Pages, which is like Microsoft Word, but just the Mac version. I made a note-taking template, and I will show you how to do it in the following clip. So I open the app Pages and I create a new document. First thing I like to do is I like to change the margins to one centimeter. This just means I can fit a lot more text on the page and save paper when I'm printing. After that, I go to the format tab at the top and I change the layout to two columns. I find two columns just easier because the line that you're writing is a lot shorter and it's easier to negotiate when you're working in split screen with the lecture on the right hand side of the screen. So after that, I made a custom bullet list, which I named Kian's Notes, and I really like using the nested format. This basically shows the major concepts on sort of the more left-hand side, and then as you tab right, you write down more detailed things that perhaps aren't as important. So the format that I use is capital letters for major headings and then numbers as the subheadings. So once you make your custom bullet list, you want to save this entire document as a template. And once you save it as a template, it means these margins, the two columns, as well as the bullet list will be saved for you. And it means that all your notes in the future are going to be perfectly consistent, which I love. When I'm in lecture, I really love the split screen feature. I have the lecture notes on one side and my typed notes on the other. And here you can see the benefit of two columns because if I had only one column, I wouldn't be able to read the entire line at once. But with two columns, it fits really well. So I type my title at the top and then I go back and I find my custom bullet list. And then I look at the slide and I try to summarize these points and sort them out into sort of headings and subheadings within my note format. So this is how I would do this. Once all the notes are typed out, you can see the two columns and I go back and highlight words that I want to define or things that I had to Google during the lecture. I also like to put in images. I find that it's really, really helpful if you can demonstrate a concept in a single image, but I try to be conservative and not copy and paste every single image from the lecture. As for classes like anatomy, histology, and radiology, which are very diagram heavy and very visual, I like to use the iPad and I like to use it to annotate slides or images. So in radiology, we're looking at a lot of x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, ultrasounds, and these things are really hard to describe in words or replicate in a text document. So I find it so much easier just to be able to write directly on the image and talk about the things that we're looking at, whether it be normal anatomical structures or pathological findings. For anatomy, also very diagram heavy, but I actually really like to draw out my own diagrams because I find this really helps me with the spatial orientation as well as the relationships between different structures. It also helps me slow down and learn all the parts to a diagram. So I do this on the iPad. Um, sometimes I write out diagrams and create self quizzes so I just leave the labels blank, which I find super helpful as a study resource later in the future. 
Another thing that I love to do while I'm taking lecture notes in class is I like to write down questions of things that I don't know or write down things that I want to revisit later. So I just have a notebook, I have it open to the side, and then when I go to study I have like a guided set of questions on things that I want to focus on. Another thing that I like to do during lecture is I actually like to make Anki flashcards. So if there's some small like details that I think might be important or things that are very memorization heavy, I just stick it on a flashcard. So for example, we're doing the peripheral nervous system and a lecturer mentioned the difference between acetylcholine binding a nicotinic receptor versus a muscarinic receptor. And I was like, eh, I don't really think that that's something I'm going to remember, but I also think it could be important. So I put it on an Anki flashcard and that way I'm kind of insured or guaranteed that I will remember that in the future, even if it seemed like a small but important detail. Anyways, that is how I take notes in lecture. It is probably going to change in the future. It has changed drastically from the past. But if you enjoyed this video or you have other note taking tips or you try any of this, I would love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, so anyways, I will be back next week with another video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Thank you.